Learn how to make the Nigerian egg roll recipe, easy step-by-step -step recipe for especially beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Varieties channel and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones and family members. Thank you. The first thing I'm going to do is to place in 12 fresh eggs inside a pot of cold water. Then I will go ahead and transfer the pot on top of my heat and allow the pot to start boiling. And I'm going to cook these eggs for about 15 to 20 good minutes to make sure that the egg cooks internally appropriately and so if you do not know how to boil eggs this step is very very important for you while my egg is still boiling on fire let us go over to the flour mixture as we begin mixing the ingredients before we come back to the egg once again in a very large bowl i have measured out about four good cups of all-purpose flour which I am going to sift to make sure there are no lumps or rough particles of flour inside it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and then add my grated nutmeg inside the recipe with a combination of baking powder and salt. Then I will go ahead and sift the flour appropriately. Next, I will measure out some tablespoons of sugar and then also sieve it and add it into the recipe, guys. I almost forgot this sugar, if not that I just remembered, so that is why I'm adding it a bit late. Go ahead and mix all ingredients effectively, making sure that all ingredients touches all areas of the flour mixture so that your recipe will have a unique taste and flavor. Once you have completed the mixing process guys, create a hole in the middle of the bowl and then drop in your margarine inside the bowl. You can also substitute the margarine with your butter guys. Mix the whole ingredients effectively until you have developed a crumbly texture as you see me display it on the screen. Once that is done, create another hole in the center and then pour in the whisk egg mixture in the middle of the bowl. And then mix all ingredients to make sure everything combines effectively so that all the egg will touch all areas of the flour. Then go ahead and begin to pour in your milk inside the recipe step by step. Guys, I am using cold milk for this recipe and I have measured out about a cup of milk but make sure you pour in the milk step by step because in my own case I did not use all the milk. I ended up using about half a cup of milk. That is why it is very very important to add the milk step by step. Make sure that you apply pressure while mixing the milk inside the recipe so that you use lesser quantity of milk in this recipe. Once all ingredients have been formed into a dough, make sure that you knead the dough for at least 2 good minutes so that the dough will be fine and smooth in texture. Set the dough aside and then let's go back to the egg. After a total cooking period of 10, 15 to 20 good minutes, guys, the egg is completely ready. So what I will do right now is to transfer the eggs into a bowl of cold water and allow the egg to stop its cooking process immediately. 
this step is also going to enable you to peel the eggs without any form of stress in fact the shells of the egg is going to come out as fast as possible because you have put them inside you know cold water so i'm going to peel the egg one after the other until i have completely peeled all the eggs so guys you must not use um 12 eggs like i used in this recipe you can also use three eggs six eggs depending on the number of people you're serving your recipe i am serving six members of my family that is to make sure that every one of us will enjoy this egg roll by eating at least two egg rolls each within the day or period the egg is going to last so you know once you finish peeling the eggs what you're going to do next is to dry the eggs with a tissue paper so that the eggs will stay dry and not wet in the recipe set it aside until it is required later Preheat the oil on medium to low heat guys. I will be using my leftover oil for this recipe. The temperature of the oil shouldn't be too high so that the egg rolls will cook evenly internally and outwardly. Cooking time should last between 8 to 10 minutes guys or if you want to fry it for extra time maybe depends on the size of your own egg roll. Rotate the egg rolls in the hot oil as it fries. Don't worry if the egg rolls develop cracks on the surface guys, it's normal but make sure it doesn't burst open completely. Once the egg rolls have become golden brown in appearance or your own desired appearance have been developed, set it off the oil and drain excess oil in a kitchen towel or tissue paper immediately. Here is the final final outcome of our yummy and delicious egg roll recipe guys. <laughs> 
in fact i thought we would have eaten this egg roll twice but unfortunately guys the whole family consumed this egg roll immediately <laughs> it was so so delicious so so tasty guys crunchy and crispy on the outside and very very moist on the inside even the nutmegs included in this recipe and the flavor took this recipe guys to another level all together it was so so delicious however i made sure that we had no eggs throughout the entire week because of health reasons it's good to eat two to three eggs in a week as more will result into high cholesterol intake especially because of the yolk thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's recipe don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos feel free to share my videos with your friends loved ones and family members until i come your way next time Bye-bye.